So a question like, when am I going to get there, keeps you from ever getting there. Because you're focused upon the absence of what you want. Now stay with us just a little bit. You following us so far? The thing that keeps you from being all the way to where you want to be is your awareness of where you are. Someone gave Esther the most wonderful gift. And she lost track of it. She thought she'd left it one place and she couldn't find it. And she looked for it and looked for it and looked for it and looked for it and looked for it. In her office in Texas, she has a closet that's all drawers, file cabinets. It's behind a door, so she really likes that because she doesn't like her mess out around her. She likes her mess in there where no one can see it. <laughs> and in this closet, there are three big files this way and three big files this way and three big files this way. And she has opened every one of those nine drawers a hundred times looking for this. And then she finally just gave it up. She started telling everyone, I've lost it. I don't know where I left it. I've looked everywhere that I can think to look. I cannot find it. And the other day, after about six months of looking for it, she opened the bottom drawer and there it was. <laughs> now her natural assumption was someone was hiding it and they put it there. <laughs> someone hid that from me. They're just playing games with me because there it is in plain view right where I've looked over and 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 over again. It seems illogical. In other words, she thinks that you should commit her to the insane asylum because this is a drawer she's looked in and it was right there. It was in plain view. It was in plain view and it's big. It's a iPad MacBook Pro, big, big, it's big, it's big, it's big. It's big. It's big. It's big. And it doesn't look like anything else she has. It's big. It's big. It's big. And it was right there. So if Esther can have an experience where she believes that something is lost because it wasn't where she first looked, she thought she left it over there. And when she looked over there, it wasn't there. And so the fact that it wasn't there, she put an engine on her. It's not there. It's not there. And then she looked over there and it wasn't there either. And she put another engine. Then she looked over there and it wasn't there either. She looked so many places where it wasn't that she decided it was lost. And her belief that it was lost was so strong. Her belief that it was lost was much stronger than her desire that it was found. Oh, interesting. Her belief that it was lost was so much stronger than her desire that it was found. Truth was, she didn't really need it. Truth was, she had so many things in her suitcase already, she couldn't lift it into the overhead bin. So she had gone on a trip and had decided not to take it because she didn't really need it. And so in the absence of desire, when she came back, the absence of desire was still there. It wasn't something that she had asked for. It wasn't something that she wanted. It was just something really nice that someone gave to her. So in absence of desire, that belief really held strong.